it is hard to be clear about who you are when you're carrying around a bunch of other people's baggage from the past. Or back baggage for us when. The Ado State Governorship election bill to hold in September 2024 will certainly be a tough one as two foreign-based senior lawyers, Olumide Akpata and Aswe Gudalu, slugs it out with a home-based serving senator, Senator Monday Okwewolo, a.k.a. Akpakomiza. But sometimes, what did that name mean? Sir? Well, that one will come later. Will APC be able to fully reconcile its house to pull an upset to return to Sadebe House in Edo State? Only time or so we tell. Meanwhile, since winning the primaries, Olumide Akpata seems to have reduced the Oludi Okwokwokwokwok tempo of the Labour Party. As people are wondering, where is Olumide? Olu, holiday is over. Now nice it's time for campaign. For the PDP candidate, Aswen Gudaro, though some party faithfuls, including the current deputy governor, Philip Shabu, and the former party chairman, Barrister Aswen Ojizwa, alleged that he was imposed on the party as a candidate by Governor Baseki. Even though he's begging them and the electorate not to visit the sins of Obaseki on him. So how well he's able to maneuver through the many baggages of Baseki, we, you, time will reveal all of this to us. Anyway, we know, say, almost all our outgoing governors, they impose successor, and thereafter the fight go begin. The latest being Wiki and Fubara in River State. You know, except for Lagos, where the person, where they impose, is now in Abuja. Well, you understand the gist. Aside from the many baggages of Baseki, unfortunately for the PDP also, the party leader, Atiku, now resides in Dubai and only comes to Nigeria once in four years to contest. Even as some of the 2023 general election sign on, like Daniel Buala, are returning home to APC. So the work for them is very heavy. So Aswe need to reach out wide. But can Aswe really do without inheriting the sins, MOU and enemies of Obaseki in this election? Time also will tell. This is the only governorship election where the ruling party candidate, ably supported by the governor, He's trying so hard to distance himself from the said governor. You know the reason, because of the many faith promises, unfulfilled expectations, and unrealized MOU of uh, Baseki. Because as bad as Boyer administration was, the APC presidential candidate, Bola Tinubu, during campaign, still was bold enough to tell Nigerians that he will continue Boyer's Shege policy. So why is a PDP running away from uh, Baseki's legacy? If for Baseki and the people, according to them, believe that they perform. So write on those policies. Or maybe Aswe is running away from the legacy of Obaseki's refusal to swear in 14 APC members of the Edo State House of Assembly from 2019 to 2023 in clear violation of Section 91 of the Constitution, which, you know, till date will be an albatross in the lifespan of that administration. Or is it the latest one of Obaseki's refusal to swear in eight judges already screened and confirmed by the NJC, National Judicial Commission, as he continues in, in his abuse of Section 271 sub 2 and Section 291 and 2 of the same constitution. But really, I want to ask, why will a state that has produced former NBA chairmen like Austin Alege, SCN, Barista Olumide Akbata, current governorship candidate of the Labour Party, and a renowned lawyer like the PDP governorship candidate, Aswen Godaro, and a renowned lawyer like me, Liberal Sushuma, have the misfortune of having a governor who observed the constitution in breach, and yet nobody they talk. If Aswen cannot beg Obaseki to do the right thing and swear in newly appointed judges in compliance with the constitution, how then does he expect people not to visit Obaseki's sins on him? If he cannot at least ensure that his friends, his friend Obaseki complies with the constitution by swearing in judges, newly appointed judges, is it in Asian land or a Wohimi that have not had light for the past 10 months? Despite Obaseki's MOU with Cement for Power and the Energy Development that will not visit the scene of Obaseki on him. I've been at the Bini Palace when Obaseki the drag artifact with. Or on a wiki, the governor of Abuja, if you know what I mean, and his supporter Danobi, when give Obaseki umbrella and he collected it from them that will not visit the scene of Obaseki on Aswe. I'm also sure that Deputy Governor Philip Shabu, that Obaseki has relocated from government house and stripped of all his aid. And hell bent on, on uh, hell bent on impe impeaching for refusing to koto to his poho of not for not contesting for gov governorship election. He's also waiting to throw his own bowl of revenge. But I must caution, as well, also need to tell Obaseki, no matter the sins of Philip Shaibu, who fought his own brother to ensure that their second term is actualized, become a reality, an impeachment against him actually is a demarketing of Aswen's candidature. 
So if the State House of Assembly goes ahead with the impeachment, can Philip be subsequently begged not to visit the sins of Obaseki on Aswe? You don't need to be a politician to know the answer to that. Why the politicians, the legislators, and the members of the judiciary are all not seeing their grudges against Obaseki over some of the issues listed above? Also, the everyday people, university workers and students alike, colleges of education, civil servants, market traders, are also complaining about lack of infrastructure. I've been at the Bubu Yaya or Dummy that were sold to, by the party in 2020, the 2020 election. If I mentioned the fake Gele, before you had another Gele or Gele Gele deep sea, deep sea port, someone will point you to the MOU to develop palm produce that never saw the light of the day. Even the civil servants need to be placated not to visit the scenes of the consultants Obaseki brought to take their job on Aswe. I've been at the Abrusali University or College of Education or College of Agriculture South. We go beg. And we make her off the mic because the list is endless. So my brother asked when NYBC, now your begging continues. I will therefore advocate the PDP, PDP governorship candidate need to beg Obaseki to do the right thing first before begging the people not to visit Obaseki's sin on him. As a senior member of the legal profession, he needs to plead with his friends or his friend Obaseki to swear in the newly appointed judges of the Edo State High Court, an arm of government that is supposed to be insulated from the vagaries of political power play, which has ended up being the pawn in the hands of most governors. I swear we need to reach deeper into the members of the legacy group of the PDP and other aggrieved members of the party for a thorough and honest, transparent reconciliation process. And in doing that, you should remember that some people who believe that Obaseki ate alone are also waiting to collect his money and sabotage his effort, make his shiny eye as payback to Obaseki. So he needs to shine his eye and not just the sharing money anyhow. He should also remember that he's up against a grassroots fellow Ishan who will stop at nothing but to assume as much as Obaseki is saying he can assume and throw it to the public. So he will need all the wisdom he can get to manage the crisis. Lastly, no matter the temptation, he should not allow Obaseki to lead his campaign. As doing so, we mark the beginning of his failure. Just the same way, Shomole, you know what he said before and then, you know, understand. Well, since his unsolicited advice, let me pause and take your comment on all our social media platforms showing on your screen. And feel free to share. A word said in half goes into the wise and becomes a, a whole. I don't know the carry last. No me say I do the day the race. I do feel no every day the race. So see you next week.